Good afternoon, wholesalers. Hey guys, Aaron Kinder here from FloridaWholesaleLand.com. Hey guys, I am teaching you the secrets of buying land dirt cheap, pardon the pun. I'm also saving you from the real estate uh, investment seminar gurus because maybe they will lead you to something you probably wish you didn't buy. Hey guys, we are in Highland County today. That's right, Highlands County today, Highland County, Florida. All right, guys, and so we're on the lands available list here. So you go to the clerk of court's office. There you can go from there. You can get to their tax deeds that are coming to auction. And then from there, you can get to their lands available list right here. You just click this, boom, and hit search. And boom, you're going to see what's available in the lands available list. All right, guys, we're going to talk about something today. And we're going to talk about something that I'm pretty sure... No other tax deed or tax lien guru on YouTube is talking about. You know why? Because they don't know. They're not, they probably have no idea what this is, right? And so today we're going to talk about something on the lands available list. We're going to just pull up one of these properties. We're going to pull up this one right here. And we're going to say, well, why is this on the lands available list? All right, so if we just pull it up and we want to see it on the GIS map, bada bing. Well, here's the pick, right? Here's the pick right here. Here it is on the GIS map right here. Let's zoom out a little bit. And you're going to move to the right. You're going to be like, oh, wow, look at all these homes. Oh, my God, look at all of this development that's happening. Look at all these uh, lots. You see they've been cleared. They've been prepped. They're getting prepped for housing. Looks like there's some here getting prepped for housing as well. Okay, you're probably looking at this going, oh, my God, what a great sign. What a great sign this is. Okay, well, well, maybe or maybe not. And let's talk about the not. All right, so from first glance, the novice real estate investor who probably went to one of these other guru YouTube videos and or maybe paid for a very expensive course <laughs> may have found themselves here in Highlands County looking at the lands available list because they were told over-the-counter tax deeds are another great way to get land dirt cheap. Yes, it is another great way. However, comma, properties put on the lands available list most likely come with a lot of risk, people. And so you got to know what you're looking at because not everything is what it appears to be. Okay. So here in Highlands County, these properties that we're looking at, they actually fall into a subdivision here called Sun and Lakes. And so this Sun and Lakes subdivision, and it looks pretty nice. When you zoom out, you're looking at it, and you're like, oh, wow, look at this. There's a golf course. There's people who live right here in the middle, right? This is really neat. Oh, look, another golf course over here. Holy cow, that's like the back nine or something like that. What a, what a cool place this is. Well... You got to ask yourself, what type of subdivision is this? Okay, this is a type of subdivision that uh, you got to know your research, guys. You got to know your research because it is what's called a CDD, a Community Developed District. And a CDD has its own laws written in the Florida statute, guys. And so, and that would be chapter uh, 109. <laughs> In Florida statutes, if you want to go to Florida statute, but uh, bing, here it is, community developed districts. Uh, you might want to read over Florida statute before you start buying properties or buying tax liens or tax deeds in a CDD. Because in a CDD, uh, you got to do some more due diligence before you buy the tax lien thinking that you're going to buy this and someone's going to pay the bill. Um, and then you're going to bring it to court, bring it to the auction, right? And then someone else is going to buy it. There are very, there are some probabilities that may not work out in your favor. So if you go to www.cfmcdd.org and go to their questions page, let me tell you everything you need to know about a CDD is here, guys. It's here. And so you need to read this from top to bottom and get fully educated, fully educated before you start shopping for properties that fall within a CDD. But let me tell you, here on the lands available list, here in Highland County, I guarantee you that these applicants right here, uh, oh, Robert Frank over here and Laura, I bet you they had no idea 
that this was a CDD when they bought the tax liens, filed a tax deed application on these properties, and brought them to auction earlier this year. So it was a couple months ago, 521, 2024. They brought these to the auction, and uh oh, nobody bid on them. And so they were going to most likely take ownership of them, but when the clerk of courts sent them the bill to pay for the recording costs, they also probably told them, did you know this was a CDD? And did you know that there's probably a much bigger bill that doesn't wash out in the tax lien auction? And uh, you might want to look into that because it could be a lot of money, honey. And lo and behold, it is. It is is okay so as cdd guys these community developed districts these are subdivisions and so there's actually uh like the well the most well-known cdd out there is the villages so the villages you know where a lot of retirees come to florida they go there they throw a giant uh you know sort of a golden girls party out there yeah the villages that place like that's the most well-known cdd now there's other cdds out there uh, in in the state of Florida in a bunch of different counties and so you got to be careful about these things sometimes they're not called or they don't use the term CDD and the reason is is because CDDs have a bad connotation that comes with it historically uh, thus why this property is on the lands available us now in Highlands County this subdivision does not the like to use the, the the acronym CDD. They like to use the uh, special district, right? The special unit district or something like that, right? Uh, which really just means it's a CDD, okay? So in the CDD, they have, not only are you are going to have your normal tax bill, right? So if you come here, you can click right here and you go to the, the tax bill on this property. However, you can't go to it on this one because it's on the lands available list. But you could theoretically go to the property next to it. And I mean, matter of fact, I'll just do that right now. We'll go to the property right next to it because it too is in the CDD. And we'll click on it. We'll pull it up and we'll pull its tax collector bill. Right? And bada bing, here it is. So on the normal tax bill, there nowhere on here is it going to show you or tell you that this is in a CDD. Right? Nowhere on here. You're just going to look at it. So if this property was behind in taxes... You'd be like, oh my God, this property's behind in taxes. Oh, what is a tax to praise? Oh my God, this is a good property, right? And you might buy the delinquent taxes on it. But, 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 wait. In a CDD, now let's go back to the property that we're actually looking at, which would be not that one, but this one. And so it's this property right here. And this is the property appraiser's uh, pick, right? This is the card. Nowhere on here, unless you knew, already knew, that Sun and Lakes was a CDD, and you already knew what a CDD was, right? Um, then you would have you would have stayed away from this place like it's got herpes, right? And so, uh, but most people don't, right? Because nowhere on here is it also saying that this is a CDD, right? Nowhere on here. So with the CDD, you're going to have the normal tax bill, right? You're going to look it up in the property appraisers database, and you're like, oh, cool. But then you you have to go somewhere else. You actually have to go to the community's website because there's most likely going to be a bond. And there's also going to be what will appear to be like an HOA, but it's not really an HOA, right? So if you go to the CDD and you, and you read about it here, right, it talks about the relationship with Honor Association right here. And I'm going to tell you, it's, it's like an HOA that won't get wiped out in the tax deed auction. It won't get wiped out, period. Neither will the bond payment. You know, it won't get wiped out either. And so these things survive. They survive. And so that's one thing about a CDD is that they cannot get theoretically wiped out in the tax deed auction. So, so and, and let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So remember, this exact same property right here, you had no idea it was in a CDD. You had no idea. You just saw a tax bill and you're like, oh, it's got taxes. Wait, just wait. Boom. <laughs> it's got its own uh, private property records card that's with the uh, Sun and Lake uh, subdivision here. And on here, guys, you're going to see exactly what you would have been responsible for had you bought this property on the lands available list or if the 
applicant who filed the foreclosures would have been responsible for if they got it. So right here, <clears throat> the bond balance total is $889.41. And it says, note, uh, or it says not a payoff, see note below. Okay, interesting. And then right here, it says open item total. $16,377.16. Not a payoff. See note below. <laughs> Outstanding bonds right here. The bond code 54 phase 4 refinance penalties. The annual payment for the bond is $177.88. And then there's a balance of $889.41. Meaning they're behind. They're in the rears of their bond payment. And if you look below, you see open items. Now, the open items is everything. It's going to be the bond payment refinance. Plus, it's going to be stuff that looks a lot like an HOA fee. And it's late. And there's late fees. And there's penalties. Right? And bada bing, bada boom, bada bang. Lo and behold, if you take this entire open item list. Right? And you can see here's the phase 10 bond payment. Or phase 10 principal, phase 10 interest. Right? If you take... This entire delinquent list right here, and I did, here in Excel, I got it right here. And if you highlight all of it and bring it down to the bottom, boom, $16,377.16. And what was it? Oh, shoot, $16,377.16, right? So let me tell you guys, if you buy this property off the lands available list, you're going to be wishing you didn't do that right because you would have not only bought it for like whatever the opening bid was and let's see you would have paid <clears throat> right here $1621.73 but you'd have that additional $16,000 that you'd have to pay plus this additional 800 and something right and now remember this ain't the payoff right and so you're going to have to call the note, right? Where it says, go see the note. It's right here. Please contact the district office, this number, for a valid payoff amount. So you're going to have to call them and say, hey, what's the estoppel on this thing? And what's the valid payoff amount? I'm seeing it's this, right? And it could be more, guys. So you need to validate that before you get into this. Right? So what would you be in on this property? So 16 plus 8, you're already at 17 plus the 1,000 and something right here. So now you're at 18 something. You're very close to $19,000 in this property. And then what are you going to do? You're going to sell it for 20000 I don't know, guys. So so guys, when you're looking at properties, right, and you're, or most importantly also, when you're learning from other gurus out there, not for the wholesale land, but when you're learning from other gurus out there, and there's quite a few on uh, YouTube, uh, and there's quite a few of them that will tell you what a great idea it is, you're going to make all this money, whoa, right, and they're gonna, they're gonna, you're going to end up spending a lot of money at their seminars and buying their stupid courses, the devil is always in the details, guys, and they don't teach you about CDDs, community developed districts, and they don't teach you how to find the true information. You know, all they did was lead you to the slaughter. All right, guys, that's it. Buy land, dirt cheap, pardon the pun, and we'll see you here next time on FloridaHostelland.com.